Hello friends, welcome to Protoland and I am Nitin Parmar and today I am bringing one of the very important article of our Indian constitution which is article number 131 and why it is in the news because Kerala government and now Punjab government has challenged CAA that is called Citizenship Amendment Act 2019. So I am sure all of you are aware that we have prepared a very good video on what is CAA Act all about. Okay, that is Citizenship Amendment Act all about. That is a separate video is available for that. Uh, I will be putting that link here in the description so that you can very well watch it. But here we are discussing about how a particular state government can challenge a law made by the parliament that is a central government. Okay. Let's talk about it and what is this power of article 131 in the hands of Supreme Court. Okay, let's talk about one by one. So let's talk about on what ground state of Kerala has said that CAA is violative of certain rights. Okay, Kerala government ka bada argument is that it is violative of fundamental rights on three grounds. Article number 14 that is equality before law where the CAA allows equality only to certain religion and there is one religion which is left behind and thereby it is against equality. Possibly yes. Article number 21 that is right to life. Article number 21 bolta hai, protection of life and personal liberty. Now this is also violative because it is giving against opportunity only to some people and some people are not getting those opportunities and 25 freedom of religion because India provides or India is a secular country and there is a freedom for the everyone and when people are coming from outside and they want to stay in India possibly uh, they are forced to convert into a religion. So this is what they are arguing and in addition to that the secular fabric of the nation is violated is what the argument put forward by state of Kerala. It also challenges other two laws. One is passport entry to India amendment rule 2015 and foreigners amendment order 2015. It has regularized the stay of non-Muslim migrants from Pakistan, Bangladesh and Afghanistan. Amendment करके हमने जो illegal migrants है उनके stay को हमने बढ़ा दिया था primarily illegal migrants coming from this three countries and non-Muslims okay so this is what basically the challenge by Kerala government ठीक है और आप देखेंगे Kerala government ने इधर इस particular चीज के ऊपर protest किया छत्तीसगढ़ गवर्नमेंट ने भी इसी तरीके से एक पर्टिकुलर केस के खिलाफ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया के खिलाफ केस किया है सो so, छत्तीसगढ़ गवर्नमेंट चैलेंज व्हिच लॉ छत्तीसगढ़ गवर्नमेंट चैलेंज नेशनल इन्वेस्टिगेशन एजेंसी एक्ट ओके सो दिस आर द चैलेंजेस एंड नाउ पंजाब गवर्नमेंट हैज आल्सो सपोर्टेड दिस केरला एंड दे आर चैलेंजिंग सीए so both government and including Punjab now all three governments have filed their challenge under article number 131 of Indian constitution. So what is 131? Article number 131 which deals with original jurisdiction of Supreme Court. Now Supreme Court has a lot of jurisdiction. One is called original jurisdiction. Other is called appellate jurisdiction. Okay. Third is called advisory jurisdiction. Okay, so let us understand what is this original jurisdiction all about. I am not discussing about appellate and uh, you can say uh, advisory. Appellate ka matlab hai that you are not comfortable with the order of let's say trial court and you went to the you can say uh, sessions court and then you went to the high court and still you are not satisfied. So, so you want to appeal in the supreme court. You can very well appeal in the supreme court that's called appellate. Okay, while in the advisory President of India can ask advice of the Supreme Court 
on any legal matter this are the jurisdiction of the supreme court we are talking about only original jurisdiction okay so what is the jurisdiction first and foremost let's talk about that jurisdiction of a court is a power or the authority of a court to hear the case and determine the matter whether this kind of thing has happened or not giving their judgment that's called jurisdiction so jurisdiction can be any depending upon court to court depending upon situation to situation there are pecuniary power or pecuniary jurisdiction that is the power of a court based on the amount of money involved so i'm sure you know consumer court may कंज्यूमर कोर्ट वाला जो सिस्टम होता है वहां पे इट इज बेस्ड ऑन द अमाउंट कम अमाउंट वाला लोअर कोर्ट में हायर अमाउंट वाला अपर कोर्ट में टेरिटोरियल जुरिस्डिक्शन सो ऑल क्रिमिनल केसेस आर जनरली कमिंग अंडर दी टेरिटोरियल गुजरात का अलग महाराष्ट्र का अलग ठीक है आपका उत्तर प्रदेश इस तरीके से सबका अलग सब्जेक्ट वाइज ठीक है अगर कोई कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल मैटर होगी सुप्रीम कोर्ट में जाएगी ठीक है कोई अगर मैटर होगी फैमिली कोर्ट की सो फैमिली कोर्ट में जाएगा आई होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस ठीक है ओरिजिनल पावर ऑफ कोर्ट टू हियर द केस फ्रॉम इट्स बिगिनिंग सो व्हाट इज द ओरिजिनल जुरिस्डिक्शन ऑफ द सुप्रीम कोर्ट दैट्स व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड ठीक है सो ओरिजिनल जुरिस्डिक्शन का मतलब है कि ये पर्टिकुलर मैटर इसी कोर्ट में फॉल करता है ठीक है वाइल एपेलेट पावर ऑफ कोर्ट टू हियर द केस ऑन अपील ठीक है वाइल एपेलेट जुरिस्डिक्शन सुप्रीम कोर्ट का है ओरिजिनल जुरिस्डिक्शन सुप्रीम कोर्ट का है पर कौन सा है लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड दैट ओके दैट इज बेसिकली दी आइडिया आई होप यू हैव अंडरस्टूड व्हाट इज जुरिस्डिक्शन नाउ व्हाई जुरिस्डिक्शन इज रिलेवेंट दैट्स अ बिग क्वेश्चन वी नीड टू आंसर ठीक है अ जजमेंट इज पास बाय अ कोर्ट विदाउट जुरिस्डिक्शन इज अ कोरम नॉन जुडाइस what is the meaning of quorum non judice that is in presence of a person but not a judge which means koi court ka particular jagah pe jurisdiction nahi hai aur us court ne us particular cheez pe apna judgment de diya hai to mana aise jata hai ki koi quorum to bana hi nahi that means jo judgment aaya that is presented by anyone but not by the judge ठीक है एंड देर बाई इट इज नल एंड वॉइड एंड इट इज नॉट वैलिड इट्स वैलिडिटी कैन बी चैलेंज एट एनी स्टेज सो वी हैव लर्न अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग यू कैन से लीगल मैक्सिम कॉल्ड कोरम नॉन जुडाइस आई होप इट इज वेरी क्लियर वेरी गुड आगे बढ़ते हैं सो वॉट इज दिस ओरिजिनल जुरिस्डिक्शन ओरिजिनल जुरिस्डिक्शन ऑफ एनी कोर्ट रेफर्स टू इट्स पावर to hear the case first so in a criminal matter where are offenses related to ipc are triable by the court specified in the first schedule of the code of criminal procedure so crpc ke tahat jo first schedule ki court hoti hai wahan pe ipc related matters will be there the court of chief judicial magistrate the judicial magistrate of first class metropolitan magistrate judicial magistrate of second class have a limit on the amount of sentence they can pass thereby agar death penalty ka koi case hoga so that is generally tried at a higher court i hope it is very clear very good so har ek ka apna apna ek original jurisdiction hota hai theek hai a high court exercises its original criminal jurisdiction only if subordinate courts are not authorized by law to try such matters theek hai अगर लोअर कोर्ट के पास वो पावर नहीं है तो ही हाई कोर्ट में क्रिमिनल मैटर जाएगा सो हाई कोर्ट जज सेशन जज और एडिशनल सेशन जज कैन पास एनी सेंटेंस ऑथोराइज बाय लॉ प्रोवाइडेड दैट दैट सेंटेंस इज पास बाय द कोर्ट ऑफ सेशन व्हिच इज कंफर्म बाय हाई कोर्ट सो सेशन कोर्ट अगर डेथ सेंटेंस देती है तो हाई कोर्ट को उसको अप्रूव करना बनता है तभी जाकर वो डेथ सेंटेंस दिया जा सकता है इन सिविल मैटर्स suits are instituted in the court of lowest grade competent to try it and although court of higher grade can also entertain any case but generally higher court ke paas burden na ho jaye isliye generally lower court mein jata hai and the constitution of india under article number 131 confers supreme court original jurisdiction on some special matters which are those matters theek hai ye rahe teen bade matters any dispute Involving a question of law 
or the fact on which existence of legal right depends comes under original jurisdiction. I'll repeat, what is it? Any dispute involving question of law. Koi bhi dispute jahan pe koi legal question create hota hai ya koi aisa fact jahan pe koi legal right depend karta hai. Thik hai, wahan pe Supreme Court aayega kya kya dispute ke andar iske upar baat hogi. Aapka aur mera dispute hoga, wahan pe hum seedhe Supreme Court mein ja sakte hai kya? Nahi. The dispute arising between government of India and one or more of the state or government of India and some state on one side and there is another state on the other side or there is a dispute between two states. So I hope you understand this. Okay. So original jurisdiction of Supreme Court kya hua? It is a dispute between governments. Konse government? Central government and the state government. Central government plus some of the state government and other state government. I hope you understand this. Or two state governments or more than two states government. Okay. This is called original jurisdiction according to article number 131. Okay. So what is the need for this original jurisdiction in such matters? The Indian constitution understands this very important part that there is a possibility in our federal structure. I'm sure you know India is a quasi federal country where we have a center has some power and state has some power. Okay, so their power are divided and this division of power between central and state government brings a lot of problem and un problems ko handle karne ke liye there has to be a court and which is that court? That is very simple our Supreme Court. However, there may be differences over interpretation of this federal structure and thereby to settle such cases, we need Supreme Court of India as an arbitrator. So is there any bar on original jurisdiction of Supreme Court? Can there be any restriction on Supreme Court on original jurisdiction? Yes. So Supreme Court ka original jurisdiction cannot extend to number one, a dispute arising out of any treaty or an agreement or covenant or engagement or other similar instrument executed before the commencement of the constitution and continues to be in operation or which provides that jurisdiction of Supreme Court shall not extend to such a dispute. Agar ye bol ke rakha hua hai ki koi aise agreement jo is constitution ke pehle hum kar chuke hai aur usme Supreme Court ko humne clearly exclude kar ke rakha hoga then such kind of dispute will not come under Supreme Court. Similarly, if Parliament has excluded jurisdiction of Supreme Court in certain disputes, primarily related to distribution and control of water or any interstate river. So water related disputes, they do not go under original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court and generally suits brought by private individuals against government of India, then that's not the original jurisdiction. Original jurisdiction will always be between the governments and the governments. I hope it is very clear. Wonderful. So we have learned wonderful a part called article number 131, which is talking about original jurisdiction. My dear students, make sure that you study on this particular aspect that what are the jurisdiction of Supreme Court. I given you enough understanding about original jurisdiction Please study on your own about appellate jurisdiction and advisory jurisdiction. Okay? I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please isko like this is channel and subscribe to this channel. And share this channel ko share kariye. and we hope that you will continue to learn with us. Thank you very much and all the best.